I don't, I don't know how to, to, to bring this message to you. Without sounding cocky? No, without sounding cocky. <laughs> I literally haven't paid anything for these parts. <laughs> See, as in the background, you're like, hey, what's up, bro? I'm waiting for something to happen. I've been given the honor because of this guy. It started out as a very tiny, tiny request or a tiny idea that I was gonna get hold of the new Cooler Master Maker 5 case and it has evolved into something completely different. The case is here! Look, the case guys. is here. It's there. Here is the case. This is a Cooler Master uh, Maker 5 case, right? Look at this table with the computer parts and everything. All right, I had this from before. A Cool Master Nepton 240 millimeter water cooler. Cool Master V75 750 power supply. Supply. Yeah, yeah words. It's not my greatest thing. We have the MSI Z170A. And what's cool about this card? You can change the fucking color with your cell phone. There is an app for everything. Oh my fucking god. And also we're going to put in a HyperX Fury for an 80 gigabyte hard drive for editing reasons. And we're gonna put in this thing. Oh wait, Hi wait. I can take the plasma. Oh, whoops. This baby right here. This is a PSI SSD. It can read 1.5 gigabytes per second and it can write one gigabyte per second. This is a beast. We have 32 gigs of DDR4, 2400 megahertz memory from HyperX. This is Predator memory sticks. Holy shit. I don't even know, this is, what is this? What is it's this? Uh, for the case, it's all the screws and bolts. Oh, it's all the screws and bolts. We have something amazing from Cable Mod. This is the first unboxing, right? This box right here. So this, ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Look at this. Cable Mod, they were so kind that they decided to send me braided cables. In red and black. In red and black. The BX3 colors. Look at this. This is beautiful. And every single cable is like that. I don't know if you can see it. It's like... Cloth. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we have all different cables. Everything is braided in uh, black or in black and red. So it goes with the color theme. There's a lot of different components from many of BX3 sponsors and as well as some non-sponsors that we're going to put in this uh, computer. This is kind of, it's a build for yeah. this new uh, gaming slash streaming slash making new stuff for you guys on YouTube. I just want to say a huge thank you to Cooler Master, a huge thank you to Cable Mod, a huge thank you to MSI, a huge thank you to HyperX. Last but not least, a huge thank you to Completo Deno for making this possible. It's You guys are amazing, every single one of you. The first thing we got here, the PSI SSD. And this is this is amazing. So inside of here, we got like, uh, getting started, quick starter guide, Acronis Tune Image HD Software Activation Key. And then, I have a sticker, I have a sticker. Oh my God. Further into the package, we have some foam. Oh, it smells really nice. Look, it's like a cool logo. It's like HX. It's a high price logo. Dude. Yes. This has no, no taste to it. I want them to start producing like cheese pumps flavored. Cause that would be amazing. And here we have the hard drive itself. And we have like a... It's a bracket mount. Yeah, nice. Yeah, but that's for the small computers. Oh, for like mini AX yeah. ATX? Yep. And we have this. That is pretty damn cool. What do you think about it? This is a hard drive. And this is tiny. This is the, the new uh, Kingston DDR4. Uh, memories from HyperX. They're basically the same as the Predators, but they're rebranded. So the heat sinks are better and the, the clock speed is, is also better. I got four of those. Yeah, so 32 gigs. I don't think I there's a reason to open this because everyone knows how this looks. Yeah, well, we can. We need to open it anyway. It's a Core i7-6700K processor. The Gaming Pro Carbon from MSI. Uh, it's, it supports the new Scarlet processors and it has the set 170 chipset. There's a lot of fancy colors as well. You can't change the colors on the motherboard on your computer. You have to use an app on your phone, which is super cool. And it's really strange. You now we can start opening it. There's, let's see if we can. Oops, a lot of sound, but nothing. So yeah, this is new. This is the motherboard. There's LED strips with lights on almost the whole, whole uh, motherboard. It looks like if I just do like this, 
it opens, it unfolds. We have a user manual. And I guess, what is this? You get bags. You get bags everywhere. Bag. You actually get a bag. This is a very nice bag. It's a bag, guys. You can use this bag. You can switch it out with your with your toilet purse. Toilet purse. And the power supply itself is inside of a neat little package. Oh, it comes off. It comes off. Also, another bag. They should start doing bag business. I'm just saying. I wonder if people kind of knotted, knitted this or if machines did it. I think a machine did that. Are you sure? Because that was really nice. Yeah. And there it is. There it actually is, guys. As you can see, there are no cables coming out of this power supply. It is completely 100% modeler. Oh! Oh, he has like a Z! Exciter! Ooh, shiny! We're gonna talk about the Cooler Master Neptune 240. It's a CPU cooler, uh, it's locked water cooling system. It's super easy to install and it's great. It's very friend of parties. Because it doesn't leak. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in there. There's two, two, two yeah, 120 millimeter fans. There's the uh, CPU block and as well as the as the radiator. This is the brackets for the for the CPU. There is a lot of different sockets that you can put this sweet baby on. I'll take the fans out because we don't need the box. Now I'm taking the plastic off. You have the radiator, uh, which all the water just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth here. The the fans cools down the the ribs on the on the radiator and it cools down the water. So this is this is the uh, the uh, 980 Ti uh, that I've had since the gathering so just gotta show that that's also going in hello there look at me i got a case <laughs> are you ready for this let's read her let, let her rip hey it's the wrong way around god damn it anyway here you go like this oh now would you look at that you want to eat this as well We've lost him. He's. You need to take the plastic off. Ooh, oh, it's fancy. Sticky. That's the best part. The sound is cool, though. <laughs> That's so sticky. <laughs> this is the great part because the thing is, if you look at the side panel, there is uh, a black glass or black part down here. So. That goes over where the, the PSU and where all the cables go, so you don't have to like do a lot to hide it. The top part of the case, it's magnetic, so there's no screws. But it is for carrying, right? Oh yeah, it's metal carrying handles, so it's easy to nice. grab and or easier than regular yeah, cases. And take with it. And the top part you can take off, and there is a cover in case you don't have. Uh, water cooling. On top of the master case maker, uh, there is uh, a bracket uh, that I can't screw off because I'm Wait, strong enough. Okay. You need to be the fucking thing. Oh. The bracket is for the radiator. So whenever you have the bracket, you can just put it on here so it doesn't take up any space inside of your computer. And when you take the back panel off, there's a lot of space for you to to hide your cables and there's a huge plate and so you can get on the back side of the, of the uh, CPU socket if you find out that yeah I want to change the CPU cooler or something you don't have to take everything out you can just use this space. Oh do you know what I noticed? We have a fan controller. Yeah yeah. Jesus Christ I didn't know that. There's a fan and LED controller actually. There's also a dust filter, dust something something that goes underneath the, the, PS, uh, the PSU so it doesn't suck way too much dust in. There's uh, HDD brackets and you can move everything around, which is really great. And there's two of them. There's this one, uh, that's space for three. And there's this one with the space, space for two, which is underneath the plate that like, splits, the, splits the case. And inside them, there's the HDD brackets, which are really nice because they're bendy. So it's easy to put in like C3.5 uh, discs, as well as there's holes for uh, SSD drives. These two things, you can put your SSD drives here. You can be put down here in front of the plate. If you don't want them to be shown, you can take it off and you can put it here. So this is the front of it. You guys can see. It has two huge fans. I think yeah. they're 140 millimeter. 140, yeah. And there's uh, also uh, a dust filter. A dust here. filter. 
And then you have this. In front of here we have power buttons. Touch the button! Mm. It doesn't work. We have looked at all the parts and... Wow, well, yeah. This is actually... Uh, right now we have enough parts for it to be a complete build. Let's start the build, shall we? Where should we start? We have to start with the motherboard. Or wait, we can actually start putting in the... This one? Yeah, the PSU. The cool thing with the master case is that there's a bracket for the PSU. It looks like I can do like this so you can see it. Yes. It's really fancy. This is the most boring part when it comes to building. You need to take these small things like this and you need to put them inside the case for your motherboard to rest on. How oh, they number it? I was supposed Dude. to look like a freaking pro right now and remember everything. Oh, and I fucked it up. Yeah. And the, the funny thing like, is that whenever someone is building a computer, they always forget to put in the I.O. plate. Can I? I can probably do the processor. Yeah, you can do the processor. We actually thought we did a huge boo-boo. That we didn't have thermal paste. No, yeah. But we do. We do have thermal paste. <laughs> Intel did not include it on, with, with the CPU. Watching you guys build that is the most cringe thing I have ever seen. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, this is like the most complex thing about building a water cool system is actually getting the mounting bracket on point. It's really hard for us because we haven't done this. I've done this one time and for AMD it's really simple and it always seems like it's more advanced for Intel. The whole complete staff is probably crying right now. Now we're going to do the most boring part of a build, and that's putting in the power cables. Look at the cables, man! Do you see these? These are combs. Combs, or comb cable splitters. I don't think any one of us realize how much work it is to actually fix the cables. We're mounting the 24-pin connector. Yeah, it's connected. And look how good it looks. So these are our member sticks. We can actually connect the graphics card. That's beautiful, man. For, for the very special things that need to load up really fast. I'll put that on my PSI SSD because it, it, it writes at the speed of one gigabyte per second and it reads at the speed of 1.5 gigabytes per second. So I need all my porn on there. All right, the moment of truth, guys. Will it power on? We've connected all the cables and everything. Let's check it out. It's alive! Fuck yeah. All right, I'm done. So here it is guys, fully functional and operational. The performance of this beast is way beyond anything I've had previously, so I'm pretty happy. I'd move things around a little bit differently, but I'm happy with the way I put it together right now. Remember to check out the links in the description if you want to read more about the parts included. Anyway guys, I'm really tired right now. I'm gonna go home and go to bed and sleep and everything. Again, I just want to say thank you so much to the guys who have been amazing to sponsor this project. Thanks to Cable Mod, thanks to Cooler Master, thanks to MSI. And and thanks to HyperX and least but not last, thanks to Completo for sponsoring this amazing build. Uh, if you liked the video, leave it a thumb and comment in the section below. If you have anything on your heart, subscribe for more awesome videos and stuff like that. That's it, guys. I'm DLP. I'll see you soon. DLP.